All right, in this episode, we're going to get super real because I have to share some things that we're all facing when we're teachers. As well, I'm going to let you know about something that I've got cooking. Um, well, it's on my computer, so creating on my computer. Um, but I'm going to be sharing with you something that I'm going to provide for free. Um, and it's going to be, honestly, a game changer for you. So stay tuned and let's get into this episode. You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. Hey guys, welcome to the Miss Artastic Podcast. I'm your host, Kathleen McGivern. Well, today's going to be a little bit of a different episode because it's a little bit shorter and really I just want to let you know about something that I'm going to be providing for free and it's really essential. Um, I didn't want to take away from the other episodes that I've put on so I want to let you know about this opportunity so that way you don't miss it. So today we're going to get real and address some of the issues that art teachers face. It is the reality of the job. The part that wears you down and makes you exhausted. It creates that feeling of overwhelm, stress, oh yeah. It's the, whoa, I have so much to do. You sit down at your desk, there may be piles. There may be lessons not planned. There may be big stacks of marking that has to be done, things to order, emails to respond to. This is called the too big for the to-do list problem. It's when you go to write down all the things onto a piece of paper, but suddenly you run out of space. Or maybe you like to jot down a few things to do on a post-it note, but suddenly you realize you need more post-it notes. Or maybe you're the person who likes to have a post-it note for like every task so that way you can get that satisfaction of like scrunching up that post-it note as soon as you're done that task that task to feel a little bit of the weight disappear but the entire wall behind your desk is covered with to-dos and you're feeling more overwhelmed than organized. You might have this problem too. There is too much to do. And mostly, you can only tackle this when you're not actually teaching. It's one of the difficult parts of being a teacher. And you don't usually realize this problem when you're at school learning to be a teacher. But wow, does it ever hit you in the face as soon as you get your own classroom. There are a lot of tasks to put on our plates. And after all that teaching, lesson planning, idea searching, inspiring, working to build relationships, pro D taking, assessment, we still have to grade, mark, create art shows, maybe run like a classroom blog or Instagram feed. Maybe you're asked to do like an art club, um, find ideas for art lessons. Of course, other staff members are asking you to do like side things that sometimes we don't always have the confidence to be like, no, with a smile. Um, We have to incorporate artists and art historical movements into our programs teach a range of mediums and materials, have kids explore the creative process, engage them, connect with parents, order supplies, photocopy. Oh yeah. And my friend, this is every single day. No wonder teachers feel exhausted and burnt out all the time. Of course, the teacher to-do list only gets bigger, especially now that the technology has made its complete breakthrough into the classroom. Now, before I tell you about a free, life-altering opportunity that I have for our teachers, let me tell you a bit about who I am in case this is your first time meeting me. 
I am Kathleen McGivern, and I am both the founder and creator of all things Ms. Artastic. I am a one-woman show that creates everything from the art lessons and resources, my own websites, including MsArtastic.com, which is my blog, and the Artastic Collective, which is my membership site where you receive bundles of fully prepped art lessons each month that you can use immediately in your classroom. I also have my resources available in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Simply search Ms. Artastic on TPT. I also run this podcast and I have a YouTube channel, both of which are called Ms. Artastic. YouTube, um, I provide a new drawing tutorial lessons each week that you can play at home and, or in your classroom. Um, perfectly appropriate for either scenario or area. Um, and also I have this podcast, which is bi-weekly. I am dedicated to you, Artastic Nation. I want to ensure that I can help you be productive, efficient, and fully planned, which will hopefully alleviate some of that art teaching stress as I help you plan your year. Okay, so that opportunity that I mentioned, that free opportunity, oh yeah, here we go. It's called the Free Art Teacher Masterclass, and it's completely free to register for. I'm offering the most in-depth and intense masterclass for art teachers for free. Seriously. And when I say in-depth, in depth, it's not just like a short podcast or like a 30-minute webinar. No, we're going right into it, my friends. So join me for my free masterclass where I'm going to talk about engaging your students, inspiring your reluctant art makers, exploring art on a budget, increasing your productivity, faster prepping, and grading. So these are some of the topics that art teachers, they've asked me to talk about. And listen, this pandemic is not going to last, hopefully, cross your fingers, forever. Um, So eventually we're going to have to go back to the swing of things. And that means we're facing... Uh, post-pandemic life where also we are going to have those um, pre-pandemic issues in our classrooms again. So I'm going to take you on um, a nice big eMERGE session and we're going to talk about these issues and I'm going to give you so, so many tips that I have brainstormed, researched, come up with, and then you can pick and choose from those for what you want to do. So things I'm going to help you with. So one, um, I'm going to talk with you about just letting your inner child out and letting your students shine in your classroom, how to be the spark, um, engaging your students with their interests and how to research that. We're going to talk about playing with mixed media and using that as an engagement technique. We're also going to be talking about growth mindset, um, building confidence, in your classroom, letting your students' artist flavor burst through, how to earn their trust, and showing your true colors. Um, We're also going to talk about um, my favorite art mediums to buy, especially with a limited budget, and how to make that limited budget go a lot further, and how to collect and get a lot of freebies for your classroom. I'm also going to be talking about um, organizing your giant to-do list, um, and giving you ideas of how to make that to-do list just disappear a lot faster because, oh man, do I ever know what it's like to be busy? Because right now, at the time of this podcast, um, I am both a full-time teacher and full-time Ms. Artastic. So not only am I doing the TPT store, but then it's also the Artastic Collective. I have a weekly newsletter, a bi-weekly podcast, a weekly YouTube channel. Um, So... Honestly, my light, my free time is really non-existent, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some tips that I learned from my entrepreneur world that I've done this year, especially with being in class full time during the pandemic this whole time. Um, and I've brought it to my class to make my life feel a lot less stressful when I'm being, I'm super stressed out sometimes. Okay. Just being honest. Um, I believe in transparency, so I'm going to share you what I've been doing, and it has changed my my life in my classroom. I sometimes can just show up, and I'm like, well, I'm prepared, so <laughs> done. <laughs> uh, I ha- I've never had that feeling 
ever in the like 10 years that I've been teaching. And this is the first year and it is the hardest year because Misertastic, I've made more things than I've ever had before. So I committed, overcommitted myself. And then also it's, um, uh, it's basically like pre-pandemic in my classroom. There's, it's different. <laughs> uh, so I have that stress. And, but, but the actual teaching part of it, the organizational behind the scenes part that the kids don't see, I've figured out how to make that work. So I'm going to share you my ideas because I think it's going to really be helpful for you. Um, also, some teachers have been asking for tips uh, for faster prepping and grading. So I've, again, I've, for the past four or five months, I've been playing with this and really mastering it. Um, and I'm going to share you what I've done to make this happen and make this work, okay? So I'm going to be talking about how to do batch prepping um, and building your resource library and some just faster grading techniques, okay? So I know that these are things that are going to be helpful. So how do you find out how to join the free masterclass? Okay, so I'm totally going to be going in depth on these topics for a long while in the in the webinar okay I'm gonna get you all pumped up for 2021 after this disastrous year ends okay <laughs> so right at the beginning of 2021 we are going to do this free masterclass my friends and yes um, you should even um, you should register because even if you happen to miss the live webinar which would be sad it's okay I'm gonna send you the replay so make sure you register no matter what so I'm going to help you straighten everything back out because my lovely friend, I got your back. So if you want to register for free, uh, make sure you go to www.artasticcollective.com forward slash masterclass. Again, that is www.artasticcollective.com forward slash masterclass. You can also find it by searching on Google, Artastic Collective. Um, click that and then you'll find it on my main page as well. Or um, you can head on over to my Instagram. I think I have a link in my Instagram profile if you're following me at Ms. Artastic. So make sure you just click my profile and click the link in my profile and you'll find the link to my free masterclass there as well. Um, so yeah, make sure right now that you go and register for free. This is a limited space. You need to ensure that you have a spot saved because this is something that I've been passionately working on all month and I'm so excited to share it for you, with you guys, okay? So again, we're going to be talking about engaging your students, inspiring reluctant art makers, exploring art on a budget, increasing your productivity as the art teacher, the captain of your ship, faster prepping and grading. Okay, so again, artasticcollective.com forward slash masterclass. And my lovely friends, that is the end of this episode and I'll see you next time. Hey, Kathleen McGivern here. And I just wanted to pause this episode to let you know about my art teacher membership site because it's kind of a big deal and saving tons of art teachers a lot of money on art resources for their classroom. To better support art teachers, I created the Artastic Collective. With the Artastic Collective Art Resource Library membership for art teachers, my mission is to provide you with prepared art lessons, resources, and activities that will allow you to free up your time and live your life, whether that means traveling, pursuing your hobbies, or spending time with your family. It will provide you with fully planned art lessons and resources that cover standards and include assessments and rubrics that will be given to you monthly, and you will also have access to a library of previously released resources. You should be able to be an instructor or teacher and be able to have time to live your life. With this membership, you will receive teaching ideas, inspiration, and guidance to help you navigate and problem solve in your classroom or studio. This membership is intended for elementary and middle school teachers. Find my membership at artasticcollective.com.